Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be making a card using my capsule paper crafting supplies. And this card uses the Peony Bouquet stencil from Simon. This is a supply in my box that I have yet to use this month. I'm surprised I got this far without it. This is the number seven card. I've, this is the seventh card. I can't believe I made seven cards using all the same supplies. So I'm going to be using the Friendship Bloom stamp set from Gina K Designs for the greeting, but before we get to that, we're going to work on some blending using this stencil. I'm using a 4x6 piece of cardstock since my finished card will be 5x7, so I wanted it to be just an inch shorter in each direction. I'm taping down my stencil to my cardstock here, and in order to remove some of that tackiness and prevent the tape from tearing the cardstock, I am uh, putting that tape on the back of my hand, letting it remove some of that tackiness, and then adhering it, the stencil to my paper. I'm also taking some little strips of masking paper that I've cut down. I included masking paper in my capsule, and I have yet to use it this month, so this was a great time to use it. I'm using sea glass ink from Gina K Designs, just making sure all those areas where I might blend are covered with the masking tape. And then I'm using some honeybee blender brushes, or actually just one brush for all of the blending today, since I am using all blue shades. And I'm starting out with the sea glass color from Gina K Designs. This is a nice soft blue shade, and I'm blending it in from the top of those flowers. It's going to define the shape of the flowers really well this way and provide kind of like the beginning of an ombre fade. The next color I'm using is Tranquil Teal. It's a little bit of a more intense shade. And as I bring it in from the left edge of my design here, you'll notice that it's quite a bit darker than sea glass. I loved how dramatic this was getting just by adding this one color. I think you could blend just these two colors and it was absolutely stunning. But in order to add even more drama, I decided to add in the navy, which is a very, very dark navy ink. And it really grounds this whole design in that bottom left corner by having a very intense dark blue shade in that, in that far corner. I think it really gives it a nice effect. So after all the blending was done, I peeled off my masking tape and I removed that stencil and the white lines are very, very stark and I thought they were almost too stark. So I decided to use whatever ink was remaining on my blender brush from using that in the navy ink and just blend in from the bottom. I really liked that look, so eventually I actually went to the Tranquil Teal shade and also Sea Glass and added a bit more ink to my blender brush so that I could add that blending behind the flowers. And this is going to just give it a little bit more of a seamless blend. It won't be such um, high contrast with the white cardstock. It makes it a little bit softer, but still keeps all of that drama. So here's my blended piece. I'm going to add a grating to this. I'm gonna keep the card really, really simple by adding kind of a larger grating from the Friendship Bloom stamp set from Gina K Designs and Hero Arts. I'm gonna use that really long one up at the top that has a quote in it. And I'm going to be stamping it in that same in the navy ink from Gina. So this is going to be in a nice navy color and it's going to match with that dark shade in that far corner. I thought the, um, the justification on this grading, which is um, right justified, will look really nice kind of hugging the top right corner of the card. This card design worked out well that way. And I've never used a grading quite like this on a card and I think it looks really, really nice. Now this card design is very simple. I almost added a bunch of other things to it, but I decided to keep it very clean and simple today. I then cut my card base to seven inches wide by 10 inches tall or seven by 10, so that I could then use a scoreboard and score it to a finished card size of five by seven. Put some foam tape behind my blended piece and then very carefully position that over the center of the card. Now, like I mentioned before, this is a very, very simple card. I think you could recreate this card using a plethora of different color combinations. Um, maybe use pinks and yellows for a more springtime look or pinks and purples. You could change it up and make it a birthday card. I think this would be a great card to even do all the blending, put it together, but not stamp the grading. Wait until you have... Uh, a need for a specific card and then you can add the grading later. I think that would work well for a card design like this also. 
Thanks so much for watching. I will be back very soon with another card video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. And once again, thank you so much for tuning in.